It can be easy to fall into the trap of thinking that storyboarding is not a necessary step of the creative process, and especially when you're not familiar with it. However, storyboarding can be a game changer for projects. Figuring out how your project is going to look and deciding the plethora of other factors that will define your project are key steps into ensuring no time or valuable resources are wasted. For this reason, we find many creative disciplines seek storyboarding to perfect their finished product. By extension, there is a great demand for software that can help make this process a lot easier, which we will be exploring in today's video. Let's go over the 5 best storyboarding software to help you decide. By the way, if you want to learn how to make your own storyboards, check this Domestica course by Laura Ewing. She's a seasoned character designer and storyboard artist, with a portfolio that counts all sorts of real-life projects, from TV shows, documentaries, live-action movies, and animated shorts. Laura will first let you go through the types of storyboards and teach you the cinematic language behind them. After that, you'll learn how to leverage the fundamentals of storyboarding to translate your script into a visually engaging story. Fundamentals like camera angles, the rule of thirds, depth, movements, the 180 axis, perspective, ideation, and more. You can turn your favorite piece of writing into a full-fledged storyboard step by step, from sketch to final touches using Photoshop. Not to mention the valuable tips that only a veteran can give you to help you build your own creative identity and professional career. If you're interested, you can find all the necessary links in the description box below. I know what you're thinking. Like, Canva? Really? Well, yes, really. This web app that your local small business uses to promote their soap actually has storyboarding templates to help you make your very own storyboard. If you think about it, Canva can be perfect for someone who can't draw or simply isn't willing to draw and just wants to figure out how something would look like. You have an endless stock of photos and graphics that you can choose from to compose and construct a scene, especially if you have a premium account. The web app storyboarding options seem to be for people in marketing who wish to get an idea for how their commercial or ad is going to look like. However, your creativity can help you very well in using this tool in order to figure out a scene in your animation without doing much work. Another simplistic tool is Board Storyboard Creator. This is also a web app, meaning that it's not a software per se, but something you can use directly in your browser. The web app is very similar to Studio Binder's version, which we will talk about next. You drag and drop your pictures, you have some options to write notes to each shot to clearly denote what feel or atmosphere you're going for. The simplicity of this and the previously mentioned app might be off-putting to many, but it can be a gem to many as well. This might very well be a strength for the app, as not everyone can be tech or art savvy enough to easily learn Storyboarder or Storyboard Pro, which both have a slight learning curve to them and may be more for people in the animation industry who are specialized in this domain. This way, boards make it easier and less daunting to envision your project for people who aren't professionally trained for it. Among the tools, we find an animatic tool with frame timing, subtitles, and sound. The app also has collaborative features, which actually makes sense as it's a web app. Boards also allows you to share, export, or import your animatic into After Effects for further editing if you wish. The app is subscription-based, and the price for it ranges from $36 to $120 a month, depending on the chosen plan. Studio Binder's storyboarding is a powerful tool for, well, storyboarding. Compared to the tools that we'll be covering next, this tool can seem very simplistic with the way it functions. The main features of this tool is dragging and dropping images, organizing them in scenes and shots, sharing them with colleagues, as well as being able to collaborate with your coworkers, either by allowing them to edit your storyboards or comment on them. The tool also offers you options to help you determine the aspect ratio, among many other things. 
The price plans vary from $29 a month if you choose the indie plan, $49 a month if the professional plan is chosen, to even $99 a month if you choose the studio plan. Different plans have different perks, and it all depends on your needs. The simplicity of this tool can be very off-putting, but it can very much have its audience too. Think producers in cinema, who probably rely on collages or drawings from concept artists to properly put together a scene, and don't necessarily want a storyboard artist to do the work. Storyboarder by Wonder Unit is free and open source, which means that if you're tech savvy, you can actually take it, improve upon it, and even add tools and other options. The interface is very sleek and simple. It's incredibly easy to navigate and use. The software is somewhat built like a 2D animation software, but way simpler and easy on the eyes. The pens and brush tools are at the top, alongside some image manipulation tools. There is a light pen tool which allows you to sketch, the pencil and inking tools to add more confident and defining lines. You also have a brush looking layer that you can use to have rudimentary colors to your drawing. Another tool is our old trusty eraser and the nodes tool with which you can mark actions. For example, a zoom in, a character turning around, blah 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 and so on. You're also one button away from transferring your work to Photoshop. What's interesting about the layer system is that the software separates the different lines made by drawing tools in layers. You have your sketch tool separate from the pen, inking and toning tool. The timeline takes most of the left and the bottom of the software, and it's quite simple with shots and a playback bar. You can set each shot to last a specific amount of time. On the right, you have a couple of interesting options. Each shot has an action, dialogue, and note boxes that you can fill out. Another great thing about the software is that you can use a what's called shot generator, which is a 3D space in the software that helps you create characters in different positions and in different camera angles. The characters are entirely modifiable in their position. It's like an animation rigging tool, but made specifically for positioning the character in the way you want. Not only that, but the software also provides you with character models, in addition to different shapes and random objects to help you further populate your shot, like vehicles, chairs, couches, and so on. We often see software like Storyboarder behind paywalls, rightfully, as there is much work that goes into creating these incredibly intricate software, but this gem is completely free for anyone and everyone to use, in addition to it being open source, for anyone to add and change things, which is a great thing. What's awesome about free software is that there's no monetary obligation, guilt or regret involved. If you don't like the software, you just don't, and you can delete it and all is well, no harm done. Storyboard Pro has everything you can ever need or want. Created by Toon Boom, the software is, as the name denotes, tailor-made for storyboarding. On top of the software having your usual drawing, sketch and brushes, guides and rulers, layers, text tool, effects, and many other basic tools to get you going, it has quite the array of special tools. The software has a full-fledged and polished timeline that you can almost use for a complete and polished animation movie, and I'm really not exaggerating. You have many panels in which you can insert audio clips, whether for music or sound effects, for a polished experience, which you can edit and add effects to in order to make them sound interesting or reflect what you're looking for. The software gives you the ability to either work in a 2D environment or, get this, a 3D one. I mean, how awesome is that? Another tool for this very purpose is the camera. Just like a 3D software, you can adjust your camera and have it be positioned in the 3D environment where you can use it to define exactly where the viewer is and what they see. This is incredibly important, as shots and their deliberate positioning, especially in cinema, tells a story of its own. And that's not it for the software. You can't just work in a 3D environment, you can also add 3D elements. The tools this software has are incredible and numerous that we can't possibly fit them all in here, but this should give you an idea of what the software is all about. 
It's available as a subscription-based software for about $530 a year, $68 a month, or $1087 as a one-time purchase, of course, as of 2022. With these five great storyboarding apps and software, we end our video hoping that you discovered the one tool that is most suitable for you and what you want. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.